right? Okay. So uh, this video or this is live stream, uh, simple steps on how you're going to download uh, and upload your uh, EAP CRM on our data collection uh, system. Uh, this video intended for uh, the vision of Zamboanga Sibugay since we are using uh, the e-tool of uh, Ma'am Christine Pipuse of Das Marinas and we do have some tweak on uh, the e-tool and uh, that is used for uh, the consolidation or for the data collection. So this is for the, for the division of Zamboanga Sibugay. Okay. So first and foremost, now uh, we just have a modified version of our e-tool uh, posted on our division website that can be found on uh, Depet Zamboanga Sibugay that page. Okay. Yeah, so as you see on the screen, uh, this, this is the official division website no? of a uh, division of Sambuaga Sibugay. Right? And, uh, right, yan. So, ito yung division uh, website no? ng Dipet Sambuaga Sibugay. So, I just posted here RPMS IP CRF materials. Uh, first link would be download IP, EIP CRF tool here. Just click here. Just click this link and you immediately uh, download no? the e-tool. And uh, after downloading, then uh, that's the time you're going to use that, that template and then make sure that the template uh, you're, go you're going to use, please no, do not modify uh, the template. So we'll, we'll try to download the template. So click download and automatically uh, it yung na mukha. No? Click natin yung download. So please do not edit on uh, sheet online. Uh, just open open uh, the downloaded file by uh, uh, Microsoft Excel no? since naka macro enabled yung tool po natin alright so yan continue and uh, yan po so ito yung tool ito yung mukha ng tool pakapakita ko lang So right, no, ito yung mukha ng tool. So if you notice here, uh, this tool is applicable for uh, proficient and highly proficient uh, uh, teachers. No? So just select the type of uh, or the position of the teacher and automatically by selecting any of the position, um, the tool itself can identify if that is highly proficient and proficient. No? So same as on the year 2019-2020, automatic po siya mag-change ng kulay. No? Green for proficient and highly proficient would be blue. Right. So let us try uh, proficient. Right. Teacher 1. And all you have to do is to accomplish uh, all uh, the details or demographics here. No? Please take note no? of uh, the demographics and also the, temp the, the format of accomplishing your family name um, your first name, last name, and middle initial. And for our divisions, division of Sambuanga Sibugay, automatic po dyan, ilagay po natin is region 9. No? Region 9, ilagay po natin. And uh, sa division, Sambuanga Sibugay, okay, example lang po, Sambuanga Sibugay and municipality, uh, kung anong munisipyo kayo, no? municipality or district, like for example, EP lang, EP lang, ilagay lang po natin, do not uh, include the district. No, Epil this do not include Epil district. Just only Epil or Titay, uh, Melda, Alicia. No? Please in capital letter only. No? So type the district. No, in our in our case in our division type the district and supply uh, all the needed uh, information. No, in this tool. Okay. And after that, uh, use this tool to rate the CO. We have only dalawang CO lang po for this year. CO one and CO two and uh, tick any of the rating no si si rater ang magti-tick nito of the rating of each objective and uh, take note also that objective 7 we have the 7a and 7b okay yeah 7a and 7b so avoid typing please no, avoid typing uh, the rating here you know in order for us uh, hindi po tayo magkakamali like this one nag-type tayo ng 6 okay? like for example uh, nag-type ka ng uh, 7B, nag-select ka ng 7B and 6 dito, 
So nakita natin exchange yung uh, uh, average. But when we when we are going to select 7A, may lalabas po dyan. Okay? So yun yung maximum 6 and si Kai dito. So yun, yun yung uh, sample no? of uh, the rating. So please uh, click or execute each uh, drop down uh, by in, in a sequence manner all right so yun siya so up to the objective 19 would be the place which is the plus factor and uh, don't forget the date observe no, the date observe and also after uh, putting the date observe at the bottom part mayroon po dyang nakalagay na unlock and unlock the same process po yung sa 2019 2020 version mayroon tayong unlock and unlock and supply the password. So, pag nag-lock tayo, automatic po sa maghihingi ng password yung tool po natin. And don't forget the appro approving authority and uh, the position of the approving authority. Okay. So, this portion, after having finalized, si, si Rater po ang magpa-finalize nito, click the finalize part 1. So, once you had already finalized uh, this part 1, uh, hindi na po yan may edit ni Rati. No? So, we are very sure that the rating um, given by the rater is really, we are very sure no? na hindi yun siya mag-change. And go to part 2, mayroon po dyang core behavioral competencies, just tick no? of any of this checkbox here which is applicable sa inyo po. So, sa rater. Okay? Uh, okay? So, part of, yun ang part 2. So, take note, sa encoding lang tayo mag-accomplish and uh, the next sheet would be part Okay. Para hindi nag-move yung Okay. In a while. Right. Uh, let's just have changed some of the So, sa capture lang natin to. Okay. So, mag-capture lang tayo dito ng isang uh, display para automatic po yan siya lalabas. So, po. Oh. Do some have a uh, modification to the display. Yeah. All right, so ito siya, no? Ito yung uh, uh, sinasabi ko kanina sa encoding process pa lang. During sa encoding process, uh, dito tayo magre-rate, supply all the demographics, yung data dyan, and the, again, no, yung district or municipality, legal, lagay pa natin dyan, uh, yung district, no? Natin. And, uh, lahat ng data na kailangan dyan. And also, accomplish, no? The rating uh, of each teacher, no? By the rater. And don't forget to lock and unlock and the date observed. So, the same manner lang po during uh, the 2019 and the 2020 version of our EIPCM. So, hindi na uh, alam na natin to, no? Kung paano natin to i-accomplish. Then, uh, take note, Dito sa part ng encoding and uh, part 4 lang tayo, my encoding process. Okay. Now, uh, for the part 1, no, itong tool na to, ito yung gamitin natin pag uh, ano po, pag print, ipiprint natin siya and papirmahan po natin sa uh, rater, no, and approving authority. Right. Okay. Sige. Uh, so, proceed tayo sa part 2. Sa part automatic na po, uh, yung uh, automatic na po itong uh, Yung part na to, once uh, nakapag-encode tayo dun sa part 2 ng uh, encoding. Ang the same manner po, pagdating po ng part 3, automatic po siya nag-generate once we are done with the encoding process. And dito sa part 4, so ito yung uh, nilagay po natin, 
Okay, ito yung nilagay natin na uh, modification doon sa template po ni Ma'am Christine. Okay? So, naglagay po tayo ng uh, competencies dito. No? Nag uh, mayroon po tayong nilagay ng competencies. Edit lang natin. So, yan. So, naglagay tayo dito ng uh, competencies, pedagogy, contractivists, uh, teaching, and the rest no, of the competencies. Of the functional competencies po. So, align na po siya doon sa RPMS PPSD objectives po natin. And yung strength, under strength, anong competencies po yung uh, strength natin? And also the, for the developmental, need, developmental needs, uh, anong, uh, anong competency po no? yung uh, development needs po natin? And select that one and also encode here the details of your development needs and the rest of the uh, cell no? na kailangan po natin sa e in code no so lahat po natin include at lahat po uh, i-accomplish po natin to and the part yung part B no yung core behavioral competencies part po ng ESA part 3 of the ESA selagay lang po natin dito select natin yung self management teamwork service orientation naka drop down naka drop down na po yan siya and lagay natin yung details dito sa baba okay sa sa gilid po ng each competencies po so the same manner ng pag fill up po natin and the rest of the cells at ng ating e uh, fila. Now, uh, sa baba, may nakita tayo dyan na rated depth and email. So, for the division of sampuang kasi po ay kailangan po natin to because uh, gagamit, gagamitin natin siya for consolidation and uh, probably for the data analysis no, in the division uh, which should be handled by HRD. So, kailangan po yung depth and email natin is yung active depth and email po ng teacher. Okay? Or active DPD email ng rating. Okay? Take note, DPD email po. Kailangan po natin to uh, para makita natin yung uh, mga account din. Uh, and also, ginamit na natin siya pagdating dun sa con uh, collection system. So, once we are done with the template, no, uh, bigay natin to sa uploader since si principal yung mag identify ng uploader uh, per school. Right? So, pag na-finalize na natin to, no? Pag na-finalize na and uh, binigay na no kay uploader yung tool yung tool na to, so punta tayo doon sa system. So dito sa division website also nakalagay diyan, okay? Sa baba po ng download EIP CRF tool, mayroon po tayong nakalagay click here to register your uploader. So mayroon tayong registration process. Uh, mayroon tayong registration process no sa system. So click natin to. So, si principal po mag-identify ng uh, uploader. So, lagi natin, automatic po siya mag-direct doon sa uh, single sign-on facility ng division po. So, sign in natin yung DPD email po natin. Pag hindi siya pumasok yung DPD email nyo dito, please contact the ICT section for uh, for us to check your DPD email. So, sa in case po sa akin, uh, marami po yung nakalagay dyan kasi marami, may mga, ito yung mga systems po natin. But, Uh, sa inyo, hanapin nyo lang itong Access IPCRF Data Collection System. Take note, Access IPCRF Data Collection System. So take note, uh, wala pa tayong registration na nangyari. Wala pang, or hindi ka pa registered no, doon sa system. So pag-click natin dito, okay, automatic po siya. Sorry, you are not registered as uploader. You may register upload, uploader. So register natin yung uploader by simply uh, typing, no, uh, the school ID. Okay? So, type natin. Like, for example, I am going to use 3038.41. Right? So, search natin, natin siya. Okay. So, ito siya. Uh, supply lang po natin dito yung una, school head info. Pangalan ni school head and yung position automatic na po yun sa system generated and yung DPD email ni school head and the rest of the uploaders also. And take note, si school head din po, pwede siya makapag-upload ng e-IPCRF na finalize. Again, pwede siya makapag-upload and make sure na uh, halimbawa, okay, make sure na tama po yung DPD email. Kasi po pag nagkamali kayo dyan, automatic po yung button na to sa baba, mayroon pong nakalagay dyan na yung email na yan is not, a dep is not DPD email and yung submit button, hindi po siya nag enable So meaning you cannot register without entering the proper or the correct DPD email doon sa mga uploaders po natin. This for this ano po siya parang restriction doon sa system. Okay? So the rest of the halimbawa ito uh, teacher 
teacher 1. For example, si teacher, ano? Okay, lagyan natin teacher. And lagyan natin itong email ad ni Sandro. Okay? So, like for example, ganyan. Okay? So, pagkatapos nyan, o pagkatapos nyan, click submit. So, pag submit po natin, yan. Done. So, kasali yung yung uh, dipid email ko, ni-register ko as uploader, automatic po siya mag-redirect dun sa uploading page ng system. So, bali, isang beses ka lang mag-register and after registering, um, pwede ka na makapag-upload. Ano, uh, so, click natin done. So, automatic po, redirect -re tayo dito sa page na to, wherein dito na tayo mag-upload ng EIPCRF na final. Okay? So, click natin itong upload EIPCRF, sample data lang tayo. Okay? And, yan. Okay, wait lang. Meron po tayong error dyan. Okay. Kasi mayroon tayong uh, sample. Okay, sige lang po. Uh, yun yung uploading process. No? Tignan natin ito kung anong uh, anong column. So, yan. Okay. So, as of this time, no, share registration lang po muna tayo. So, ito yung process ng registration and uploading. So, we are now testing no, do, to the new server, to the server, uh, the uploading process. So, I, I do believe no, this time wala pa tayo na-accomplish na EIPCRF. So, dun muna tayo and uh, refrain muna for uploading kasi titingnan pa natin yung mga possible uh, glitches dun sa system for uploading. And after makapag-upload ka, uh, you can print also the summary of rating no, dun sa school mo. So, so far, wala tayong na-upload pa. So, yun. Wala pang laman. And take note, na nakita natin yung pangalan dito. Yung, yung uh, uh, dipid email mo. No? Active dipid email. And, uh, yun. No? And also, you can log out no? uh, after uploading, after printing the summary. And you may now log out. So, ganun lang po ka kadali. No? Gamitin yung system po natin. And if you encounter some problem you, upon using the system, please contact the ICT section for uh, some uh, ano po, fix, fix or fixing some of the errors or bugs pagdating po na kailangan natin no, i-fix na sa, sa system. So, right. So, yun lang po ang ating uh, simple uh, video or process in accessing no, the tool uploading or registering the uploaders at the same time uploading our EIP series. Sana po uh, nakatulong to sa lahat po ng teachers sa Sambuanga Sibugay Division. Again, no, this video intended for Dipet Sambuanga Sibugay Division.